Okay, I posted about a week ago that I was gonna share some pedals. So this is gonna be one of them. This is the East Side Overdrive pedal from Cleveland Music Co. Um, it's kind of like a transparent um, kind of circuit. It's got a little couple tweaks to it. I discovered these guys back when I was in Maine. Um, the company had a couple pedals in like a small store where I was doing a Beatles tribute show. And I fell in love with this one particular dry pedal I found called the, uh, the Tame. And since then, they've sent me a couple tweaks, uh, this pedal with some tweaks on it. Um, and I'm really excited to try it out. So it's like I said, it's called the East Side Overdrive. Um, transparent kind of drive circuit and uh, got three clipping diodes. That's also really cool. There's a compressed, like a very compressed kind of like least transparent clipping uh, style. And we have a symmetrical and then an asymmetrical. Um, I'll kind of go between the three of them here so you can hear and uh, kind of have the amp set just kind of clean. Um, humbucker in the bridge, so we got a little more output. But pretty clean from the amp and then you'll hear the drive does like really good like low to mid gain kind of stuff. And um, I think it sounds like very, very open in the symmetrical and the asymmetrical uh, settings. And I, kind of, I really like it. Um, I think it sounds really good just like kind of pushing the amp into like a nice like overdrive kind of place. So uh, yeah, I'll just play around here a little bit and switch between the diodes you guys can hear. And uh, yeah, the East Side Overdrive from a Cleveland music company. So here's just the compressed one. So that's the compressed diode, like that very first, like least transparent. Um, good bit of gain on tap there, honestly. Um, I have the pedal kind of set. The volume is around one o'clock. The gain right now is at one o'clock. Um, I took some of the bass out of it because I think it's a little like thick and a little too punchy. Also, I'm just sitting in the room with the amp. That tends to happen. Guitar players using amps, how novel. Um, so after that, well, here's the uh, more symmetrical kind of diode. You can already hear, it sounds, it, the, not that compression's bad, but it sounds way less compressed. And I think it just, you can hear the top end like kind of shows back up in the amp. It just, it's very, it's very punchy. I, I like it though, it sounds good. Take a little bit of the high end out. That's the symmetrical one, and then here is the asymmetrical one. A little more open still than the last one. Of the three, I kind of like the symmetrical one the best. But here's the asymmetrical side. More open still, I think, even than the symmetrical one. I, um... Uh... Sitting in here with the in the room, the asymmetrical one... I feel like would cut a little better for me in a mix, but that's just me. Yeah, I definitely like that a little bit more. I think I'm gonna back the gain down a little bit here. So. 